Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and as you can see we are going to speak about Warpets. It's not gonna be a guide um, about a single Warpet, it will be a tier list which Warpet is uh, S tier, A tier, B tier and C tier, right? Since we are getting more and more Warpets uh, in the game, it's time for us to speak like in a Heroes tier list, like Artifact tier list, we need to speak about best and the worst uh, warpets we are currently have in the game. I'm pretty sure we are going to have more and more whenever we're gonna progress through seasons. But so far we can speak about the warpets we currently have. So let's dig uh, dive inside the warpets and let's see what's in my opinion will be the best warpet currently we have right now. On S tier I will put warpets which can uh, be uh, like versatile, right? Which can uh, be used in uh, many different uh, hero pairs and which ones are the most famous and most popular ones um, with the tier 5 and tier 4 players. Tier 5 means pay to win players currently and the tier 4 means uh, free to play players. So in my opinion one of the best warpet which um, Call of Dragons currently have is Safar Fedrick simply because you can is uh, you can use Sapphire Frederick in many different hero pairs. Uh, of course it's mainly for mages, but of course you can use it with Thea, uh, with Telestials, you can use Sapphire Frederick with many different epic um, heroes. So I think one of the most popular and like strictly damage dealer warpet is Sapphire Frederick and that's why uh, like uh, Frederick Safar should be on a S tier because since the introduction of the warpets in the game, uh, Safar and Frederick have been one of the most popular and one of the most famous warpets in the game. What would I uh, put on a second one on S tier? I think uh, Sand Lizard is an amazing warpet uh, simply because you can use it in many, many different uh, hero pairs. You can use it in infantry with Madeline and Garwood. You can use it uh, with Marksman, with Sinrion and Fregar, even with Nico and uh, Akinara. Like uh, Sand Lizard is all about staying alive and whenever you have a warpet which can uh, heal you a lot, uh, it can be beneficially for many different hero pairs. So as you can understand right now, on S tier I'm putting the warpets which will be used in a uh, different kind of um, hero pairs and is used much uh, regard with the players uh, currently playing in the game. So like I'm gonna put uh, A tier warpets which is exclusive to a um, hero pair or a hero which is for example Nitrock is exclusive for uh, Sindrion and Sindrion and Fregar uh, playstyle simply because Nitrock is giving you normal attack crit rate and normal attacks and in general crit uh, in this game is very suitable for Sindrion and Fregar uh, playstyle. Another exclusive I think um, Warpet is uh, Snow Rock, which is amazing for uh, Nico and Kinara, especially with the first skill of the Night Rock, uh, of the Snow Peak Rock, the concentration, you are getting additional damage whenever you are applying a defense break. And it's pretty obvious that Nico's first skill is giving a defense break to enemy heroes, and there is a synergy. And I think in general Snow Peak Rock is a especially good for the Nico and Kinara hero pair, especially if you will awaken uh, Kinara and Nico in the future. I know it's pretty hard, but we still need to speak about it right now. Uh, another exclusive um, warpet, which is a Golden Rock, especially good for the cavalry heroes. I can freely put Golden Rock here because cavalry heroes are not that popular right now. Uh, it's amazing, uh, especially for the Emrys and Bakshi combination. A lot of skills, a lot of uh, rage accumulation, uh, like uh, Golden Rock is especially for the Emrys. And I'm not uh, putting Golden Rock on A tier, uh, simply because I think Night Rock and Snow Peak Rock is more powerful and more popular uh, than Golden Rock. I guess that's simply because uh, cavalry heroes and in general cavalry unit types are not that popular. It's strong only whenever you are flanking or killing the farmers and like killing the farmers and the flanking is not the most important aspect of the game uh, currently. Another specific uh, hero the warpet which is Bruin Bear is amazing uh, warpet for the Goresh and Skolgul, the new additions to the game. 
I think uh, Bruin Bear is especially amazing for this hero pair, but you can use it in different hero pairs, such as Madeline Garwood, Madeline Nika, but if you want to take the best um, value out of this warped, I would put it with Goresh and Skolgul. I think like Nitrog, uh, Snow Peacock and Bruin Bear are in the same tier, uh, like, uh, and it's not in the same tier as Sapphire, Frederick, and Sand Lizard, in my opinion. Uh, another warpet, which is not that, um, like, uh, important, not that impressive, in my opinion, is, uh, Sander Lizard. I guess, like, Sander Lizard's main skill is, like, pure deal damage, that's all, nothing interesting. Not of, a lot of people are using Sand Lizard, uh, uh Sander Lizard. I'm um, sorry, that's why I think Sander Lizard should go in a C tier. It's not better than Golden Rock, it's not better than Night Rock or Snow Peak Rock or Bruin Bear. That's my honest opinion. Uh, next one will be Stripe Bear. I can freely add Stripe Bear to the S tier, but I think in terms of healing, Sand Lizard is much, much better. They, that's why, like, uh, simply because of uh, usage of this Stripe Bear, like mainly with the Garwood Hero Pairs, I'm gonna put on a B tier. I don't think Stripe Bear is better than Bruin Bear. I don't think Stripe Bear is better than Nitrock or Snow Peak Rock. That's why uh, B tier will be more suitable. Of course, um, Stripe Bear should not be on a C tier. It's way, way, way better than uh, Sandra Lizard. Sandra Lizard's skill is simply like... Uh, not not that impressive that's why like right now for now c tier only standing sander lizard uh, another warped which is venomous lizard the amazing uh warped strictly used mainly in infantry heroes because more you stay alive uh, it's better for the venomous lizard because you are applying poison and in general poison is a Ticking damage, which means more you are uh, alive, enemies taking more and more damage. It's not better than the A tier and, of course, S tier warpets. That's why I think Golden Rock, um, Stripe Bear, and Venomous Wither Lizard are in the same tier. Another uh, pretty cool warpet, which is Berserk Freydrig. Uh, at first, whenever Berserk Freydrig was introduced, it has a lot of usage. Uh, like when time is passing slowly, like less and less people are using Berserk Frederick. I guess they understood that there is some uh, warpets which is exclusive for a couple of heroes. There is some warpets that are great in many different uh, hero pairs. But I think in general Berserk Frederick can be used as a cavalry hero, a cavalry warpet. It can be used with the Thea, with the flying heroes. And I think simply because... It still can be used in many different uh, hero pairs. I will put it on an A tier. I don't think uh, Golden Rock uh, and the Stripe Bear has, is, is in the same tier as a Berserk Frederick. That's why I'm going to put it on an A tier. Another Lizard, which I think is much, much better than Thunder Lizard and Venomous Lizard, is Ice Lizard. Especially for the like mage heroes, uh, while they're well in, uh, I like Lilia. You can use it on Lilia, but even the theme and even the skills is saying that uh, like Ice Lizard is amazing with uh, more ice type of mages, such as well in and. Walder. So if you are playing with Ice Lizard, you will be happy because I think it's one of the best um, war pets we are currently having. Uh, of course, not the better ones than Sand Lizard, but uh, like for sure better than Venomous Lizard and Sander Lizard. Regarding Frost Bear, I think Frost Bear has a limited usage simply because. Uh, you need to have shields um, in order to uh, use the main skill of the uh, frost bear in a good way, uh, which means like the frost bear can be great with Madeline because Madeline is getting shields. Uh, I'm not gonna use. Uh, I will not suggest to use frost bear with um, Thea with uh, those healing and shielding because. Uh, Frost Bear is not a flying warpet. That's why, simply because of the limited usage, I'm gonna put uh, Frost Bear on a B tier. And what's left? Uh, what's left is one of the newest edition, uh, Shadow Ferdrake. Simply because I think Shadow Ferdrake is exclusive for Bertrand, and I have not tried Bertrand Red yet. Uh, my server will go in a season TI in approximately two weeks. That's why, simply because I have not used it much. Uh, I know it's a flying uh, warpet, I know it can be used with uh, th flying heroes, but until I'm not gonna test it by myself, I'm not gonna speak more deeply about Shadow Frederick. Uh, that's why I'm going to put 
Shadow Fredrick on a seat here. I honestly think it's way, way better than Sandal Lizard. In general, I think uh, Sandal Lizard is one of the worst um, warpeds in the game. Um, I have not seen anybody use it, and there is nothing interesting about the warped. So that's why like, I think Sandal Lizard is one of the worst. Uh, one of the best ones, one of the most um, usually used uh, warpeds currently in the game is Sapphire, Frederick and Sand Lizard. Uh, I still see a lot of players using more and more Bruin Bear. I can easily put Bruin Bear here, uh, newest Warped, a uh, lot of usage uh, since the introduction of Goresh and Skolgul. Um, like, uh, in, in general, infantry heroes are getting more and more popular, but uh, yeah, if we're gonna strictly go with the uh, popularity, I can easily put Bruin Bear here. Uh, these Warpeds, which we currently see, like um, yellow and black, um, beers and of course like white uh, rock white uh, rock uh, these warpeds are not introduced to our games yet i think next season we're gonna see more and more uh, new warpeds uh, in the game but currently we can speak about warpeds which we currently have i think this is this will be my main uh, warped uh, tier list uh, like share me share your opinions about uh, my idea, maybe you think in a different way, we can have a discussion, maybe I'm wrong, maybe you are right, we won't gonna find out without having a conversation, so feel free to judge me on the comment section, uh, if you in general like the content and if you in general like the videos I'm trying to make, uh, press like, press subscribe, it always brings a smile on my face and gives me more and more motivation to do more content. It will be pretty hard to do content while you are waiting for a new season, there won't be much uh, uh, events or much activity on the server, but I will still try my best to make as much uh, content as possible. Soon we are going to have uh, wars uh, with the Immortal Legion and I hope we're gonna catch up on the live streams. So far, this is all I wanted to speak uh, regarding Warpage tier list. Um, I hope you are liking the content and yeah, I'm gonna see you very very soon. Uh, bye bye, wish you good luck in the future. Bye bye.